Hey everyone, welcome to Museums.com. My name is Steve Harris. Today we're going to run through the Shop Locket widget. It's a new e-commerce widget that we've just released and what it does is it simplifies integration with this Shop Locket system. Basically what Shop Locket is, is it's kind of a hosted e-commerce system where you set up an account, log in, create your products, and then using our widget you can simply apply the product ID in Muse and it will appear directly in your website. And I'll show you exactly how we do it. But if you just take a look at the Shop Locket site here, you can see it's an e-commerce solution and it works perfectly both for digital downloads and physical products. Another cool feature of this software is that they can do things like pre-sales. Um, there's actually a full shopping cart if you want to sell multiple products and it's actually free to sign up so on the bottom here it says you know try risk-free and the starter package is zero dollars a month and they just take a transaction fee and of course they integrate with stripe or paypal and again i'm a big fan of stripe um, but paypal works as well so let me show you how this works um, if i just go into muse here i've set up one ahead of time and if i preview this in the browser you can get a sense of how it looks before i run through all the instructions. So you basically get a product preview here with some sharing buttons, a price on it. You can customize all of these colors and everything. And then we get the product name, a little description about it, and a buy now button. And if you click the buy now button, then it pops up in this kind of JavaScript pop-up window and it's got nice order details. You can see that I've added shipping to this product. And of course you fill in all of your information and place the order and you can actually pay with PayPal as well. So it's a really nice seamless solution. And there's, there's one really cool thing about this widget that I'm gonna show you in a few seconds here. So let's create this from scratch. The first thing we need to do is we need to start on the shop locket site. So I'm gonna log into my account and again, you'll need to just sign up with a fresh account. Okay, now that I've logged in, this is your dashboard. This is kind of where you see all of your products, your total sales, your views, that sort of thing. So let's go ahead and create a new product. Click this button in the top right. And when we do that, we need to just kind of follow through all of these options here on the left side to set up our product. So I won't go through every single option here, but we basically need to set our product name. So let's go sample, a price, you know, $59.99. Quick description, I'll just create a fake description here. Product description goes here, okay. So now we can upload up to four images for the product. And then it tells you the size that they want you to do. So this is 640 by 480. So let's just pull up a sample image I have here of our Club Hero template that we used the other day. Quickly upload that. Okay, it looks like it's pretty much done there. There, so it's in. Um, and you can see the preview on the right side here updates. So then we can turn on things like pre-orders if we wanna be able to have people pay and then we're going to charge them at a later time. Um, there's also a button here at the bottom that says I am selling files that people can download. And if you click that, then you have the ability to upload the downloadable file. So whether it's an ebook or you know an app or something like that. So I'm gonna uncheck that for now. So that's the basic product setup. Um, now you can go into some more deep options. So if you click product options, right now it's set to no options, but you can actually set a whole bunch of different variants. So things like the size of the product, the color of the product. So if you're selling t-shirts, here's where you would add things like, what color would you like? Black, blue, that sort of thing. We can add tax. So if you need to charge tax, you can turn this on and set the rate. You can charge shipping, so you can set flat rate shipping for the whole world, or you can do shipping depending on where the customer is located. We can set an expiry, so if it's a limited time offer, um, you need to turn this on, and there's actually a countdown on the sale. And then we have on the last page here, it says product page, and it says when your product is created, it will get an individual product page that is hosted on Shop Locket. You're probably gonna want to leave that on. What that means is you can actually use this unique link here, which is shoplocket.com and in all of these words to visit the product page. So that's kind of it for the options here. And then we have a couple more and that says style and we have embed styles. So there's a whole bunch of different embed styles for this widget and they're actually really nice. So if you click on this top left one, um, the preview in the right side here is going to update and you can see it uses this little banner It's got a little bit of a different background and you know a little bit of a shadow behind so that's one here. Let's click on this one 
So that one's got a nice dark background. And the really cool thing about this widget is depending on which one of these embed styles you pick. So if you pick this basic one, for example, here, wait for that to update there. Now you can go colors and text and you can change some of this. So right now the buy now button is set as buy now, but you could say something like purchase and you'll see that it just updates on the right side here. And you can go ahead and go through and change all the colors of uh, you know the text and the buttons and that sort of thing. So that's really it for the product setup. Um, the last thing you need to make sure to do is, as usual, click save in the top right. And up here where it says draft, you can just click this and turn it to publish. And that means your product is ready to sell and you can publish it. I'm actually just going to change the embed style back to I think I like this one the best. Let me try this one, see how it looks. Yeah, this one's quite nice. This is what I used in the preview, so we'll use that for the rest of the video. Okay, so now that we've done all of that setup, um, under share, there's this embed this, and if you click on that, it gives you all sorts of predetermined sizes and code and all that stuff, but you don't need any of that because our widget handles it all. There's only one thing you're going to need in this widget, and let me jump back to Muse and I'll show you. So. If we drag the shop block at e-commerce widget out onto the canvas, you can see in the options flyout, there's only one option we need to set, and that is the product ID. And it's a five letter and number kind of code that actually tells our widget which product you've used in shop locket. And in your shop locket account, the easiest way to find this code is it's up here in the address bar. So in this case, the code is 0JBI1. That's the product code for this new product you've just created. So if we copy that, we go back to Muse and we enter that code in here and we hit return and it loads a new preview. And right now it's not showing up full, but if we go preview page in browser, there, you can see that we have, you know, a nice thumbnail of our product. And again, the description and this purchase button, if we click, we can check out. So integration is really slick and really simple. And I'm a big fan of the shop locket system. It's quite nice. Um, if you look up in the things like coupons and settings in the top right, within the settings, you can change different currency number or different currency types. So you've got a few options in there. Um, and then of course you can change a payment provider. So it's a really nice solution. Another thing that's actually pretty slick about this widget is right now we're using this little bit bigger size. I think it's about 500 by 300. But if you scale this down, let's say to a nice small size, look what happens. The widget generates a new preview and it just shrinks it down to a nice small purchase button. So if I preview that, there, now we just have a button, that's it. And if you click on it, it does the same thing. So you don't actually need to use their thumbnail and their product info and all that. You can just simply create the thumbnail and Muse and all the product info and just put this purchase button down below. Um, it also reshuffles depending on what size you scale the widget to in Muse. So if you drag this out to be a little wider, so this is about 580 pixels wide by 315. Let's see what it looks like. I have no idea, but you can see that it shuffled it again. So now we've got you know the product titles on top, the thumbnails below, and the purchase button is to the right. I'll preview that. There, so that's a pretty clever widget, the way that it reshuffles itself. So play with it a little bit, you know, size it to fit in your site and see what you can do with the widget itself. But if you need, simply make your product info and use and just put the purchase button down below. So that's it, that's the complete shop locket integration. Um, it's one of our easiest widgets to integrate, but I think it's also one of the most powerful. And again, you can use it to sell both digital and physical products on your Muse site. So that's it. If you have any questions or concerns, send us a note through our support portal. Otherwise, good luck. Thanks again.